follow so guys zanupi of our finance secretary patrick chinamasa lost thousands of dollars to thieves who broke into his vehicle at Mikyu's hotel in Arara on Monday evening. Narrating the incident in a post on social media, site X, formerly Twitter, Chinamasa said he lost 6,700 US dollar cash, of which uh, 1,700 US dollar belonged to him, and 5,000 US dollar was money entrusted to him by a relative to deliver to Rusapi. Chinamasa wrote on the evening of Monday, 21 August, at the five star Miko's hotel, an incident occurred which caused me great distress. I lead a seven member ZNPF delegation to a scheduled meeting with former Mozambican President, His Excellency President Joachim Chisano, the Zimbabwe appointed facilitator in the engagement with international creditor institutions over granting debt relief to Zimbabwe. The delegation comprised myself as leader. Comrade Simbarashi Mbembegui, Secretary for External Relations Nyaradzi Machacha, Principal of the Chitepo School of Ideology for Chunchasi, Deputy Secretary of Legal Affairs Ebed Madundo, Director of Security Kamuchirai Mangundu, Director of External Relations and Dr. Victor Mapuire, Director in the Office of the Secretary General Comrade Dr. Obed Bofu. I drove myself to the venue and parked my car in the street right in front of the five-star hotel. After ensuring that the car doors were locked and secure, I rode the lift up to the venue of our meeting with President Chisano. The time was roughly 18-25 hours. Our meeting ended at about 21-35 hours. When I got to the car, I had the shock of my life. A thief or a thieves had smashed the right passenger window panel. And there was broken glass all over the seat. When I paid inside to check on my bag to my order, I discovered that my bag had been stolen. I went to the five star hotel reception just to inform them and ask whether they had a clue who did it, when, and by whom. Their claim response was to profess ignorance of the incident. A hotel guard accompanied me to the scene of the crime, also professing ignorance of the matter. He told me that the hotel had no responsibility whatsoever over cars parked on the street even if parked in front of the entrance to the five-star hotel. He emphasized again and again that the responsibility lay with the Harare Municipal Council and that any cars parked in the street in front of the five-star hotel were parked at the owner's risk. To ram home this point, he directed my eyes to the CCTV camera on the wall directly overheard my car and explained that the camera was fixed to focus solely on the main entrance into the five-star hotel, not the street, which was not the five-star hotel's responsibility. The hotel general manager, Mr. Mujoma, was called to the scene and reiterated that the policy of the five-star hotel was that there should be no five-star hotel interference with the goings on in the street in front of their five-star hotel. It was strict policy of the five star hotel to turn a blind eye, technologically or otherwise, to what happens in the street in front of the entrance. When the police delayed coming to the scene, Sam Joma was kind enough to direct one of the hotel security guards to accompany me to the therapy at central police charge office where I made my report. I retired home to a sleepless night, agonizing over my latest misfortune. As lucky would have it around 9 a.m. on Tuesday, August 22, I received a call from Harare Central Police Station, Despo Mr. Moyo, informing me that my black of branded leather bag had been picked up in the Market Square area of Harare. Naturally, the bag had been emptied of 6,700 US dollar cash, of which 1,700 US dollar was mine and 5,000 US dollar was money entrusted me by a relative to deliver to his parents in Rusape towards the construction of his house in Rusape. My relative was taking advantage of my planned trip to Rusape on August 23 to vote for Team ZANPF President E. Jim Nangagwa, candidate member of the National Assembly and our candidate for local authorities. The rest of the contents of the bag were left intact including my iPad, identity card, driver's license, CBZ in Caves Bank swipe cards and an assessment of personal and ZNPF files. Missing was ZNPF commissariat documents setting out schedules of venues and dates of provincial star rallies addressed by His Excellency President Idim Nangagwa. 
in the constituency based rallies addressed by the two vice presidents and second secretaries of ZANU-PF Comrade Chiwenga in Muhadi and ZANU-PF National Chairman Uchungur Kashiri. The misfortune that befell me apart the delegation's meeting with President Chisano was a fruitful and constructive engagement. Worth noting for the future was the point I made during the exchanges that, as they do in the UN and other global organizations, the sanctions imposing countries world unfriendly and veto powers in creditor institutions such as the World Bank and its subsidiary companies, the IMF and its subsidiaries, and the African Development Bank. The point is that these sanctions imposing countries will not agree on debt relief for as long as they maintain sanctions. In other words, there is a direct link between the lifting of sanctions and agreeing to debt relief for Zimbabwe. If they agree to lift sanctions, it will follow automatically that they will agree to grant debt relief. So guys, that's the latest here. And so, Pane wa nwaka bigira wa chinda masa, 6,700 US dollar. Motel and is in a proper permicus hotel in front of the five star hotel. And so, I do agree with uh, the hotel general manager, Mr. Mujoma. Uh, the policy of the hotel is that uh, if you park your car there, and I uh, think the responsibility of your car is the responsibility of the city of Harare. That's why I'm going to make a motel in Papa Motel, Ipapo, and I'm going to make Sit of Alara Noya, but she is a client and everything like that. And the bottom line is that uh, if you leave your valuable stuff in your car, there's no guarantee that Pono Zogano and Zurimo is Panano and Gorato, Midirazo, Zokutos and Gudama break in, but the Vora Motka, the Astora, and Nongo Astora. So we hope that the police uh, will track these people, but the chances are uh, 20% because we know uh, that Narato Mario Arato Rapa Sudara. I mean, it was a good day for him office. I mean, six thousand seven hundred US dollar in Maria Gawanda. In Mari, you thought you can now have chances from so or parare. It can change uh, your life. Kuba, kwa gara kwa kaipa. I'm not saying kuti agaba Maria agagona. I'm just saying kuti. It was a good day for him to locate that bag and take that six point seven US dollar cash. So guys, this is daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow, and attend on the notification bell. Bless up.